I really loved the script when I read it and also really appreciated that it had been based on such a wonderful novel. And then it was my conversation with Francois about what he wanted to do with the film that really sealed the deal for me. Yeah, I actually, I studied French all through high school and had a French teacher who spoke just like him. So I'm, I'm used to the accent, yes. What I really liked about Kathy, even on the page, is that, you know, she's really not a main character, but what she represents is so important for, for Kevin, you know, for his character, Mike. He's trying to escape his world and sort of get into this, this other world. It's, it's the grass is always greener, but in, in this case for him, it really is. He's, he's trying to, to leave Brooklyn behind and get into New York figuratively. And, and Kathy is, is like the window that he can sort of climb through to, to see what it is he wants down to her background and the way she was raised with, you know, parents who are psychologists and her sociology major and her interest in art. She's, she's of this sort of culture that he really wants to be a part of. And she kind of becomes the window that he peeks into these high rise apartments in Manhattan and these great restaurants and this, this life filled with art. She becomes his sort of companion and, and unknowingly sort of shows him that. So the, the idea of what she represents for Mike was so important and the, the way that that, that was written and, and explained in the story really appealed to me. Kathy, on her first date with Mike, talks about how she has a, a, a habit of psychoanalyzing everyone because she's grown up with that her whole life. She's been picked apart by her parents and watched her parents pick apart everyone because that's what they do for a living, but they bring their work home. And I think it's incredibly difficult as a child to feel like a science project for your parents. And she knows when she meets Mike that this is a guy her parents would shred, but she sees that he's got this yearning to get out and she sees that he has such passion for art and for the world even though he hasn't seen it and she knows that this is someone who scares her but in a good way you know he's he's terrifying to her because he's more exciting than anyone she's ever been around and he's more real than anyone she's ever been around you know Francois and I talked about how she's grown up in very stuffy dinners with very stuffy colleagues and you know it's it's a very sort of reserved and restrained world and to come out and see someone who's not afraid to say or do anything that's terrifying in a good way for her and I think that that's part of what she's really trying to find in herself she's trying to not think before she jumps anymore and and she really lets herself jump in with Mike and it changes her. And it was something we really had to, to build in the backstory because there's not that many scenes between Mike and Kathy. You don't, it's not a romantic comedy or, or, or a movie that's about these two alone. You don't see this relationship evolving every day. It happens in snippets throughout the film and it has to jump in progression. And, and we had to talk about okay, this is what the audience won't see, but these are all the dates and all the conversations and all the things that they have done together. There's a pivotal point in the movie for Kathy where she tells Mike, I'm not scared of you anymore. And that's when she really lets him in. That's when she really decides she's going to let herself fall in love with this guy who's a little dangerous and made of all the wrong things on paper, but she sees something in him that, that clicks with her. There's something about them that's very much the same. They're both trying to get out from under the thumb of their families. And I, I really, I appreciate that. It's apples and oranges, you know, it's really a, a whole different world. Gina is, loud and ballsy and 
very flamboyant, you know, even in the way that she dresses and she's she's so very stereotypically that kind of girl. And Monica did such an amazing job portraying that and even in her stance and her walk. I mean, she really just pulled it together so well. And then Kathy is very upper crust, reserved, sensitive and quiet. It's a different it's a different thing, you know. Gina screams at Mike and, and Kathy wants to have a quiet conversation about their emotional relationships. They're just two very different kinds of women. And it was really important, you know, when we got into rehearsals and we started breaking down the script that Monica and I were able to talk about how, how different we needed to make the women that we were playing. And I think we were supported particularly even by our wardrobe department. They did such an amazing job. It was great to go into the fittings and see the rack for Monica and the rack for me. We were, you know, dying laughing. She's got like leopard velour and I've got Tory Burch and it was it was great. We actually shot that scene when I leave in the taxi. The the shot that's on Kevin when he sees something and stops and then you see him start to go. He we edited out the, the running for him and the cab stopping and me opening the door for him to come with me to get on the plane to go to Florence because even though that was the decision for us that, that she can't tell him she doesn't love him because she does and she can't say she doesn't want to be with him because she does and she knows he's wrong for her but she doesn't care and for a girl who's been taught to use her head over her heart her heart wins out with this guy, even though her head is screaming that he's wrong. And she's the one who makes him believe in himself because she believes in him. And it's so simple, but it's something he's never been given by anybody. And we, we shot it that way, but then there's the reality that, that it's almost more fun for the audience to make the decision for themselves. Some people will leave that theater thinking, you know, she left him behind and she's better off. And some people will leave thinking they're going to be together forever. And, you know, that's, that's kind of neat to see because you realize that people's opinion of how it ends gets affected by what they responded to in, in the happening of the whole film. Kevin and I didn't know each other before we, we started shooting. We